The interest surrounding Volvo Truck's new superstar, the new Volvo FH, has been huge. But of course, that kind of unprecedented interest also gives rise to an abundance of questions. So, with us today, to satisfy your curiosity, is Klaus Nilsson, president of Volvo Trucks. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Uh, the most common question on Volvo Trucks' Facebook page has been when will this truck be released to the rest of the world and not just Europe? Uh, it's, it's a fantastic question, first of all. Uh, it shows what a great interest this launch has created. And in today's world, everything is global. So obviously, whether you're a customer in Brazil or South Africa or Asia or, or wherever, this question is quite common. Uh, and we will roll it out to the rest of the world, uh, country by country, uh, as we see that we are uh, ready for it, uh, that we can ensure quality in each country, and that we have everything in place. And that will take a couple of years, actually two years, until we're done in all countries. Design has also been a subject for a few questions. Uh, most love it, but to be honest, there has also been a few concerns that it's not as good looking as the, the, the classic FH. Can you tell me a little bit about the design process? First of all, it's fantastic to hear that so many people still love the design of the classic FH. And it shows how good job that product has done in, during almost uh, 20 years. Uh, when we now design a new truck, of course it's important to make sure that it has a distinct Volvo profile. Uh, and I'm very pleased with it and really feel that it has a distinct uh, profile. Uh, I also love the design, but of course design is a matter of taste and um, it's nothing that's right or wrong. I can just hope and believe that uh, over time this will grow on people and people will uh, love the design of this truck also. Mohammad Javad Kayavi um, also wants to know why you have changed place of the, the Volvo logo, the, the iron mark in the front. Well, actually, as, as we have lifted the Volvo logo and now sits right under the windscreen, closer to the driver, we think we, we have given it a more prime position than it was before and actually lifting the importance and the profile of the brand. We've actually also increased the size of the Iron Mark to, uh, to even further emphasize uh, the Volvo brand. And um, then, of course, we have some more technical uh, questions as well. And uh, Vicko Villak, uh, he wants to know how thoroughly you have tested the new individual front suspension. Both the individual front suspension and everything else on this truck has been thoroughly tested during several years, actually. Uh, both in uh, our only own lab laboratories, but maybe even more important, on the road uh, in trucks, both uh, with our own test drivers and with customers, in cold climate, in hot climate, in bad roads, in good roads and everything. So I can assure everyone that uh, the IFS and everything else is very thoroughly tested. He also wants to know what the expected uh, maintenance cost is for the IFS compared to a standard suspension. Well, actually the IFS doesn't require any more maintenance than a normal uh, front axle and suspension. So uh, in line with that, of course, the, the cost will uh, remain the same. The IFS is one of the reasons why, why the new truck has got superior handling. And uh, you showed this in the, in the commercial, the Ballerina Stunt. But there have been uh, some discussions about the commercial, why you chose to do like a daredevil stunt that could appeal to adrenaline junkies when, uh, when you always talk about road safety and, and common sense. So that's also a question that we would like to, to hear your response on. First of all, I'm so impressed with the interest that this ballerina stunt has created. And as we sit here today, we have 6.2 million viewers on that. Uh, of course, the comment around safety I've heard before, and, and I can assure everyone we did everything possible to make this stunt uh, uh, safe. And if we have felt that there was a, a big risk of uh, any problem or any injuries or whatever, we wouldn't have uh, completed this stunt. So do you feel that it um, appeals to the right kind of customer? Um, being that it's, uh, it's such a daredevil stunt? Actually, the whole way we, we have marketed this new uh, Volvo FH is in a completely new way. So hopefully it appeals to our main customers and, and our drivers. 
but it also appeals to a much wider audience than that, than the general public and uh, everybody that has, uh, of course, an opinion. Uh, but there's one example I can say that at the launch, one of the uh, customers came up to me and said that finally, it's, it's really something which is uh, popular and positive to be a transporter. Okay, and uh, Wouter Desmet uh, wants to know if the new Volvo F8 will be available with a day cab. It will not actually, and, and the reason is that we, also on the classic cab, sell very few day cabs, and uh, most of them are actually sleepers, so we've taken away the day cab offer. And um, then he is, um, he's also a little bit nosy, uh, wondering if uh, there will also be a new FM coming. The FM you can get as a day cab. <laughs> uh, we never talk about future introductions, but uh, obviously all manufacturers and all trucks have to be equipped with Euro 6. Uh, so you, you do not to need to be a professor to uh, understand that something will come, including a new Euro 6 on the FM. Over to the truck's fuel efficiency. Uh, you have introduced a large range of fuel improving features. And Tony Keck, he wants to know how much fuel the new truck will consume. Well, it's very difficult to give uh, specific figures on that because it depends on what type of truck, if it's a two-axle tractor or if it's a four-axle rigid. It depends on where you drive, if you drive on flat roads in Holland or if you drive over the Alps. Um, but what we're saying is that with all the features on this truck, um, including the new driveline for Euro 6, you can get an improvement of up to 10%. That's a very big or a good number, uh, but how, how easy or hard is it to, to achieve that 10%? How much, what does the driver have to do? And well, the driver actually has a big influence on fuel consumption in general. Um, with the functions you now see on, on the new trucks, uh, like the IC and uh, all the features, it makes life somewhat easier for the driver and, and takes away some of the fluctuation that the driver actually can, can have on a truck's uh, fuel consumption. But the driver still plays an enormous uh, important role and, and that's why driver training is so important. Okay, and um, on the subject of fuel consumption, uh, Julian Nuevo Rivero wonders if the methane diesel technology will also be available with a new FH. We uh, believe strongly in methane diesel and, and methane diesel is already available on, on Euro 5 uh, products and uh, obviously we intend also to continue to develop methane diesels uh, for the future and uh, uh, also for the Euro 6 eventually. Of course launching a new truck uh, means that the entire organization needs to update their skills. Uh, but Björn Lahaye is especially interested in how much training the Volvo mechanics require to work on this new Volvo FH. It requires quite a lot of training and, and we have an extensive training program being rolled out as we speak actually for all our thousands of uh, mechanics uh, throughout our service network. Uh, so they, they will take uh, several days of, of uh, comprehensive training to make sure that uh, these trucks are up and running on the road when they should be up and running. Okay. And what, what is the, the main thing that, that they have to learn, do you know? Well, this is a completely new truck. It's, it's a new cab, it's a new electrical system, it's a new chassis and uh, also some driveline components are new, etc. So, so this is really a comprehensive training for, for the whole truck. And then um, also we have uh, Stefan Kierli, who, uh, by the way, thinks that this truck is a masterpiece. Uh, he wants to know if the truck will also be made into a miniature model. First of all, thanks a lot for that very nice comment about the masterpiece. That goes uh, right into my heart. Uh, and yes, there will uh, be models, and actually already now on the web you can find uh, uh, these models and different sizes and different specs uh, on the net together with a complete merchandise program on a cloth collection and many other exciting uh, items. And uh, last but not least, Khalid Mir 
asks this question on Facebook. Is it a car or a truck? Please confirm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's certainly a truck, of course, but there are many car-like uh, features on this one. Uh, actually, with the handling, it behaves more or less like a premium car on the road. And I can understand the question, but I can assure uh, this is really a truck. Okay, Jeff. Thank you very much.